I can't wait. His normals first. They are pretty straightforward. He punches, and he punches really, really hard. All the punching. All the yeah. punching. He's Throw in got, the haymakers. That's exactly right. This is not a martial artist. You know, he, he is not, um, there's not a lot of finesse here. Right. One of the first moves I'd like to show is his forward four, which is like his pretty good advancing myth. He slams you down. A lot of his moves are high. So this is kind of one you want to use when you want to go blam, mid. Blam. Is that, actually, really is that a string right there? Yes. Got it. Yeah, the end is just a one plus three input. You know I love them. <laughs> right. Another really, really good mid up close is his back one. And it has two options. Back one, one pops them up. And back one, two is mid, mid, and a safer. I really hope he's got some cool air combos, but we'll have to wait, I well, guess. I'm sure we'll see some. <laughs> he also has some really interesting mix-ups to open up the opponent. Like, for example, his sweep. It's pretty unique oh. because he drops down and does extra damage. Because he's that fast. Because he's super, super fast. What a show off. He also has four three where he literally just stomps the crown and creates an earthquake. So strong. And then I think this is one of his coolest moves. He has an awesome long range overhead mm -hmm. where he zips across the screen super fast. And if he's up close, he'll zip behind you oh. and knock you down. And that's just the button. Yeah, it's just forward two. What? And you can see it has really good range. <laughs> um, that's all. That's all I'm gonna need. That's it. Yeah, you can mix that up with the sweep. Man, he just loves putting people's faces in the ground. Yeah, <laughs> he's a strong guy. So let's go over his special moves. Great. Yeah. One unique thing about Omni Man is he actually has a lot of aerial mobility. All of his special moves can be done in the air. He has ground and air versions of all of them, which is pretty unique to MK. First one I'd like to show is the Mega Clap. Puts his hands together. It's not Patty Hick, it's the Mega Clap. <laughs> Sends them very, very far. It's a great combo ender with Punisher, kind of mid-range footsie tool. Could you almost use it like zoning too? Exactly. Oh, okay. Keep yeah. them in, keep them out. Doesn't, the go, version, doesn't go full screen. Not full screen, but the EX version goes even further and will destroy projectiles. Oh, okay. Man, he's just tearing up the ground. Everything he does. He also, has this big charge move where he literally just like <laughs> charges in with his chest. And we've all learned in the 90s in N64 wrestling games that if you put your chest yes. out, you're blocking moves. Mm -hmm. So he can just barge in. <laughs> and the EX version has armor. So this is kind of his advancing. You think they're gonna do like a projectile, you wanna get in. Kind of similar to like a Johnny Cage Shadow Kit. Another special movie has that, and you'll see this, being able to close the gap is a reoccurring theme with Omni. Gotcha. Because he, he wants to get in there and punch. Exactly. Torpedo move. A superhero classic. He can do this in the air and it actually goes downwards. It'll pop the opponent up. Another move great for just full screen at any moment. You can see it's very, very quick. So this is interesting though, because if you do it on the ground, you're not following up. Correct. But if you do it in the air, oh. you get to pop up. Very cool. I also uh, really like how uh, the the blood from his opponent gets onto his onto <laughs> his too, costume. Yeah. It's it, it's pretty awesome. Like I, I know that we get blood on everybody, sure. but for some reason on him it just looks real real cool. It's just kind of iconic <laughs> with yeah. him, you know. Yes. Yeah. So then let's go over his most interesting special move that I think really sets him apart: the Viltrumite stance. So it's down back three, and he starts hovering in the air, and from here. He has four different moves plus a bunch of mobility options. Let's start with the mobility. You can cancel it, but you can also warp forward. Oh. Extremely quickly. And again, he can do this in the air like all of his special moves. This is, this is pretty awesome. And we'll go over his moves. The first, I think, is one of the key moves, which is grab. And this is like his main combo starter. You can quickly go into it. You can even go into it off of low I talked about earlier. He also has this move where he zooms across super, super fast behind you. That's a great combo ender. It's a great check. You think the opponent might try to like throw something out when he's in the stance, you can quickly go into it. He also has an overhead from anywhere on the screen. He drops down. So it tracks. Exactly. Woo! And then lastly, a big anti-air uppercut and zooms across and then covers all the upward space. So it's kind of like the upwards version 
of the zip behind you. I just love that spine break. It's so cool. I like the <laughs> facial animation. So then the question is, how am I supposed to go into this stance when you're doing projectiles, you're doing long range normals and all that, and he's, True. Just, he's just vulnerable floating there, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think Wrong. Really no, I don't no, think no, so. No, no. So in Viltrumite stance, when he does it, he's immune to all fireballs. They will literally just pass through him as long as he's in it. And that includes in the air. That's, then, that's some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen. It's definitely it's awesome. It's pretty awesome. Just dodging. The EX version starts up faster and also makes him immune to normal attacks as well. And then he can go in and punish them that's so cool. as they're recovering. Finding so, time to use that's going to be really good. Yes. And again, he can do that in the air. The EX version is very, very quick. That's going to be see. embarrassing, too. <laughs> it is very, very, very cool. That's awesome. I love it. And then lastly for his mobility, he has a unique air dash. This actually has a physical hit attached to it. It doesn't just pass through the opponent. So you can see he spins the opponent around for a free hit. And you can do so two cool. as long as you have meters. So you can do stuff like to do some really cool flashy combos. So you can use that to get in, you can use it to get out, and it'll always have that physical hit. So again, to recap that, if you just do it for the first time, it doesn't take any meter. But if you want to do it twice, like in a combo like I showed, right. it's mm -hmm. going to take a bar. Similar to how Nataro works. Very cool. So I think in general, Omni-Man's a, a pretty, um, pretty simple powerhouse character to play, but he's got great mobility options. Great offensive ability, and I think the Viltrumite stance is going to be super, super interesting. And people, yeah, people sometimes, like, uh, of my level probably, when you hear stance, you get a little scared. But his stance is actually not, not, it's not your no. typical, like, it's not that hard to use, really. Right, it is not really hard to use, and he was not meant to be. He is right. meant to be, like, just like you see on Invincible. He is just an absolute, he's just tearing through people effortlessly. That's exactly what a design team went with, and I think they really know uh, it. it shows, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Super cool, I love it. Yeah, I, I think he's going to be really, really cool. The brown, rocky, kind of traditional looking, clobbering time, trying to <laughs> Right. So he has three moves when he's in Aftershock. He has his rock punch. It's exactly what you'd expect. He just kind Lunge of comes punch. in, yep. it's safe on block, it knocks you away. You can use it to end your swings. He also has up punch, which is a pop-up starter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which I'm pretty sure he also had an, an MKX. MKX. Yes. And then lastly, <coughs> he has his ground pound, where he comes in, he does a low, and then pieces out. So if you have a really good overhead, for example, that, for example, maybe you have a mid-screen overhead that's almost instant, you can also have a mid-screen low that's almost instant. That's so good. Which is pretty awesome. And that's just a knockdown. Exactly, yep. right. And so, so you would say Aftershock, he's sort of the, the attacker. Yeah, the I would offensive say it's, one. it's yeah. offensive, it's it's pretty basic, it's the most kind of standard tremor, right. kind of one, the one, you, like, base, which mm. is why it's the default one. Right. So then, at any time, you hit R1, and he'll come out, and he'll cycle to the next one, which is metallic. Now he has an entirely new set of moves, and they're all lava-based. He has his lava burst, which is like your mid-range, safe kind of... There's no reason not to use it. Mm -hmm. He has an anti-air lava burst. Mm -hmm. And then this is really, really cool. He has this bowling ball, which is a low. <laughs> and if you hold it, it becomes an overhead. Okay. So he's got kind of mid-range attacks, plus a 50-50 from full screen that you can mix up. Oh, awesome. Again, so then, straight out of MKX. It's so cool. Right, and so then that gives you also zoning abilities or a projectile if you have a character that is lacking that. Exactly. Which is awesome. Or if you have really good projectiles and you want to double down. Double down. Mix-ups, you can go that way. Right. And maybe you have like really great anti-air and this can be a low that is going to make them want to jump. You know, you could put out Lee May's Lantern and then be doing this. It's just all kind of... I think the creative freedom in the cameo system is the coolest part of the game, right? Really Can't agree cool. more. Yep. And then lastly, one more stance. Okay. Crystalline. People have been looking forward to this. Uh, yeah. I, Ed kind of teased it, and I think a lot of people guessed some of the stuff he could do. Yeah, totally. So in Crystalline, he has two attacks. He has Crystalline Burst, which will reflect projectiles. Cool. And then the big one. And a lot of people were like, there's no way they're going to do that. We did. Crystalline Armor. 
So once he has crystalline armor, it's doomsday for the opponent. <laughs> nope. Oops, I was too slow. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. So he's gonna summon the armor. And he will just absorb attacks like an absolute badass. Beast. Right. And um so the way this works, the cycling, is once you do the summon, like I said, it'll go through. And it goes in a particular order. Mm -hmm. And if you hold down an R1, it goes the opposite order. So you gotcha. could go from Crystalline to Aftershock instead of and skip uh, Metallic in between, if that makes sense. It's like yeah. the cycling. Yeah, yeah. So there is, there is definitely a skill a skill yes. gap on like people who can go back and forth exactly. and know what you're doing. So like, yes, they have a lot of moves, but yes, you have to be cycling. Yeah. Go into the ground pound, like so. Oh, interesting. Or next in the cycle is metallic. So let's say I wanted to do the bowling ball. I can do it that way. Or mm. crystalline. I can do instant crystalline armor. Interesting. Very cool. So that means all of his moves can also be ambush moves if you commit to bringing him out, swapping, and then immediately doing the move. Now that's going to be somewhat risky. They can get you out of it. You're going to have to be where you are in the cycle and all that. So there's a lot of risk and a lot of thought that's going to go into it, but it's extremely powerful if you can master the cycle. And I think it's one of the cooler mechanics in the game for uh, cameos. Excellent. Very cool. Uh, so that's that, huh? I think we have one more thing to show. Oh. Okay. His fatal blow. And the fatal blow attack that he goes into is pretty neat because, again, it uses his speed. Mm -hmm. You can see here. Nope. Fortress. Absolute power has corrupted you. Power doesn't corrupt, it enables. Uh, the face, yeah, just his face. It's very good. Fight. What you do? I also love, I mean, I've always liked the hair, the white hair on the side, because that's what's happening to me. Oh, right. same here. So, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm fine with it. You can see right there, Omnian tried to call it Tremor, and Scorpion actually stuffed it. So, Tremor is very, very powerful, but it's not just free column in any time. I think oh. as the game oh. goes on, it'll be really interesting to see the best players and how they learn to preemptively stuff. Uh, Cameos and all that. Yeah, we avoided the, the, the hellfire there too. Yeah, that was awesome. It's definitely his coolest move. It's a flashy. It's awesome. I really love how designed he designed the animators and that so the effortless power he has. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I will grind this. And there's, yeah, there's not. There's not. He's not like. It's like he's not even putting a lot. You just right. Just do yeah, it. it's. It's very well done. Lava burst. A ton of range and a lot of burst. A big, big rock. Should be called getting dunked on. <laughs> oh. oh, you get anti air. You didn't really get a lot from it. Just doing some spear pokes, really. Scorpion and his spear pokes. <laughs> Oh, good blocks. Good oh, good combo. The air combo stuff is very fun to do. Like hitting that air dash and seeing him spin around is very fun. God, Omni Man's neck. He's really fine. Unfortunate. Yeah, he's very, very strong. His cape's on fire. Nice oh, time. yeah, this is gonna hurt pretty bad. Take him up to the air. I think it's really. Fun how slowly you put your face on the it's ground and kind of chunks at it. I think it's yes. really cool. He's also got some really cool powers. They are again just 
very, very simple and to the point. Also, was that a combo breaker there? It was a giant rock? Yes, it was. <laughs> that was Tremor riding a giant rock. It was great. I was, the first time I saw that, I was like, oh my god. That's awesome. To be fair, if you were doing a combo, it would break you, your concentration and everything. It's just a man surfing a rock drop down. Looks like that's gonna, that's gonna do it. Yeah, I don't see Scorpion taking it past this. This is so cinematic. I love it. Finish him. This really is the perfect fatality. Fantastic. And it's the drop at the end. Nice. Yeah. All right. So good.